Hey, yo, bro, is them some Brimbos? No, they're not Brimbos. What's going on everybody? Black Limited X here with another video for you guys. And in this one, we got something I have been wanting to do and it finally came in. It's been about maybe three or four days since I actually got them, but now we're actually going to go ahead and put them on a Jeep. So let's go ahead and check it out. What they are, are the CCI caliper covers. What does that say? Little sister in the background, say hello, Bella. Mm. but check those out they look nice um i got the full set front one front and then this one is the rear yeah those are pretty dope we're gonna go ahead and get the truck jacked up and get those on all right so we got the caliper covers there um what you'll need um to do this you need a jack I have a nice floor jack here, three ton. These are some heavy trucks, so you wanna get something with a lot, that can hold a lot of weight. Um, these are the caliper covers. These are just a little moving mat. Um, I recommend that you guys get some wheel chocks so you can put in the back and front when you're doing this, when you got the truck lifted up. Of course, we got the best candy in the world and the greatest drink ever, Dr. Pepper. Um, you got some three ton jack stands. If you ever use always use jack stands when you're using a jack people um it's always better to be safe than sorry so we got two of those and we're only going to be jacking the truck up uh two tires at a time so we're going to do both fronts and then both backs and then we also have an electric um impact drive um got that and for our jeeps in case you don't know you will need a 22 millimeter lug nut um, or not lug, uh, socket um, to get these lug nuts off. Fits on there pretty good. And the impact driver I'm using is a uh, half inch or a yeah, half inch. So this is a half inch uh, socket that you will need. So we got that. And just so you guys know, this is the jack this is a scissor jack that it comes with it that the truck comes with we're not using that today um you can if you want to both works great um but like i said today we're using the floor jack so i'm gonna get up under the truck and actually show you guys some good points to jack it up so in the front here there's a triangle that points to where the jack point for the truck is so you have that triangle let me zoom that out a bit it's got that triangle right there if you come up under here, this is the pinch weld where you can um, put your jack if you're using a scissor jack, ah, scissor jack or your um, jack stand. You can set it on those to support the truck. Uh, now, since I'm using a floor jack and it has a wide um, uh, lift point, I'm not going to put it here. So where I'm going to actually put it is on the frame here going a little bit further and put it right here you don't want to put it on this piece here you don't want to put it further on your exhaust you don't want to put it on any of the drive the drive line uh you don't want to put it on your fuel tank uh anywhere obviously as well as like plastic the, the you know the body uh you don't want to put it on that you want to put it on the frame because that'll be able to support and hold it um there's other components up here under here as well that you do not want to put it on like this thing you don't want to put it on that so I'm gonna put it on the frame right here. And then in the back, let's go ahead and move to the back so I can show you the points back here. Same as the front, there's a little arrow right here, or triangle arrow. Um, for the floor jack, I'm gonna put it on this part here. It's part of the frame and it will hold. And then there's another pinch weld section right here that you can put a jack stand to um, hold and support that. And it's the same thing on the other side. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get the jack up under there um, and get this truck lifted up on both sides so we can get that tire off. So let's go ahead and do it.
Now, when you're jacking up the vehicle, or any vehicle for that matter, you only want to get it high enough to where that tire is just off the ground. You don't need to raise it all the way to the roof. Just up high enough to where Use your wheel chocks. So since we're jacking up the front, we're gonna put these on the back tires so that it doesn't roll backwards, obviously. All right, so we got both vehicles on the stands now. We're gonna come back and do the driver's side first. What I like to do for some added protection, whatever side I'm working on, I like to leave the jack like up with alongside the jack stands. And again, you only need to raise that wheel so where you can run your fingers along up under it. up you're going to take your socket we got a socket on there like I said 22 millimeter and this is a half inch uh, drive and on this um, you can see like a little suppressor um, you got R for reverse to back the lug nut out F forward put it back in so now on our stool and we do the other one we get to right out that's two and I might change these lug nuts out I'm not sure yet um I might do some black ones um, if I can find some. I'm sure, I can, but whatever. And voila. Set that to the side. And we have a wheel off. Ah! Anybody remember that weird ass movie, Tire? Was it? Is it about a killer tire? Check that out if you have it. Google it. Also in the future, we're going to be um, changing out the rotors and pads. Um, I'm gonna either do some power stop, uh, the Z23 model. Uh, so I wanna get those in next. Here's the caliper cover. Um, as you can see, black limited X, like my decal on the window. Um, but these turned out very nice CCI caliper covers. Um, they are the best, um, in my personal opinion. Um, you got the MPG, I think that's what it is, or is it the MGP? I'm not sure, but you have those ones. Um, but personally, aesthetically, these look far better. Uh, all right, now move along. On these, you get magnets on the backs here, one here, one here on the front. They're gonna be different depending on your application as far as what vehicle you drive and what type of caliper setup that you have. Um, but these are the ones for my caliper. So 
you take these, there's a little implementation on it. And voila, simple as that. <laughs> it's really just a click in the, uh, you know, clicking it on there. And that's how they look. Um, they look nice. Now, they have the newer ones out, the X-Line series. I might do those in a few weeks. Um, but this is pretty nice. Um, with the X-Line series, you get full coverage. So this would have been covered with um, the yellow backing. So I might upgrade to those later because, again, guys, this is a V6. I'm not putting Brembo's on the V6. You know, if I upgrade, you know, trade this in or sell it later, get an SRT or Trackhawk, who knows? Um, then obviously those will come with Brembo's. So no, you know, before anybody would not get Brembo's. I don't need Brembo's on the V6. Um, so aesthetically, you know, for what these are, these look great. Um, let's go ahead and get this wheel back and make sure it fits. That's how they look behind the wheel. Um, the clearance, check, is pretty good, pretty good clearance. Uh, it's not like blocking it or anything or like touching it. So I highly doubt these are gonna like be in the way of the wheel. All right, so that's how it looks with the tire on there. Um, it looks great. I'm sure it'll look even better on the road passing by. So um, we're gonna go ahead and get these lug nuts back on there. Mm -hmm. Take our gun with our suppressor. This is my MK18 10.3 suppress, 556. Beautiful. My gun people know what I'm talking about. We're gonna take our lug nut. You can put it right in there like that. And remember, F is for forward. So now I'm gonna come back. that is on there and nice and tight. Ooh, that look good in there. Next one. All right, so this is the rear caliper. Um, it's a little bit different as far as the magnets go. On the back, the magnets are here instead of um, 
on the insides like the front work. So let's go ahead and put that on there. This one just snaps right on like that as such. Just a little bit. And there it is, get a little closer. Yeah, I can see it on there, looks nice. And it's firm too. I'm liking the magnets that they're using because it is very firm. Like it's not wobbling or anything like that. I highly doubt even with bumps or anything like that, that it'll come off or something like that. So that's a good thing. All right, so there it is, you guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. There it is, the rear one. Let's go ahead and look at everything else. This is the other side, rear. And then here's the driver. So those came out very nice. They look very good. Shout out to CCI Caliper Covers. I will tag their Instagram and the website so you can go ahead and check out those caliber covers for yourself. But these turned out great. Um, so with that being said, if this is your first time checking out my channel, I want to say welcome and thank you guys for being here. And for those who've been here from day one, I want to say thank you guys. You are much appreciated. Today was a semi-decent day weather-wise, so I was able to get this done. It's starting to get a little colder. Um, but with that being said, I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.